Hello, how are you going again? Hello, how are you going again today, everybody? Um, today I'm doing chapter four of the Book of Life. I hope that you will enjoy this chapter of the Book of Life. <coughs> the Book of Life, chapter four, the quest for truth for man. This is okay. This was the um, last of the chapters to be written at Uluru until. The chapters I've written later on in the Book of Life when I actually came back to Uluru. So I've gone, come back like that, um, and I've basically been doing this throughout the whole book. Um, where Uluru is a very splendid and special place, and um, I got a lot of inspiration from there. You know, um, it's a very strong and powerful place. Uh, okay, so let's just get straight to it now and, um, and do this chapter. I hope you get much inspiration and, um, and knowledge and wisdom and overstanding to overstand, not to understand, but to look over from over point of view rather than from under and under our fist. Be The only under we want to be is under God's wing. We were protected from the ravishes of the world. Okay. The Book of Life, Chapter 4, The Quest for Truth in Man. The fourth fruit, endurance. The roots are strong and firm. The Holy Torah is rooted in the heart, which is the seed. Okay. I'll begin with the words of a song that seem very fitting and appropriate to this chapter in which I'm to write for when I hear this song I am moved with great emotion and feel it is only right to do so. The song goes like this. This is a man's world but it wouldn't be nothing without a woman on it. You see men made the cars to take us on the road Man made the train to carry the heavy load. Man made the electric lights to take us out of the dark. Man made the boat for the water like Noah made the ark. This is a man's, man's, man's world and it wouldn't mean nothing without it, without a woman on it. Man thinks about the little baby girls and baby boys Man made them happy because man made them toys. Now man makes everything he can, you know. Man makes money to buy off other men. This is a man's world, but it wouldn't be nothing, nothing, not one little thing without a woman on it. He's lost and in bitterness. Okay. As I continue in writing this book of life, Keep in mind the Holy Torah and goodwill and union. Please remember that these words in the song are from another human like ourselves and we cannot make judgments without the Holy Torah on his feelings for the Holy Torah is our very humanity. It is where the seed is planted where our spirit is rooted and shaped out of the heart to inspire to the height of the spiritual perfection of the godly soul. And how you perceive I cannot possibly know even though I have placed these words down for anyone to read and hear and be as you will. The Holy Torah is ever present illuminating all life so even it is with the sun, without the holy, holy, holy Torah, the sun would not function no matter how you judge a living soul and their expression of life and his feelings. See appreciation of life and his feelings. See how I try to relate to the now and ever present as not to be distant from the times of the present and future but also at the same time having complete respect for the past and all my forefathers both Jewish and Aboriginal 
for I, they too are of God's hands. Learn through my Jewish blood. I have learned the holy Torah and heavenly life and how to live of the heavenly fruits. And from my Aboriginal blood, I have learned the dream time and earthly life and how to live of the land. And each make me who I am and what I believe and most importantly what I hope for and I believe for the better world. It is the purpose of the book of life with goodwill and union of mankind in the holy Torah. But still distant may be if you're not in a state of goodwill and union with God and his plan for the, his creation made of the holy Torah thriving in life, the beat of your heart and the spark of the light of the sun. Mankind as a whole can be entwined past roots from the Holy Torah, we can reach the spark of the godly soul. Anyone who understands this must show himself in the very light of the Holy Torah and then too by their words and deeds of mitzvahs and Holy Torah mitzvot submit in truth of the Holy Torah in Judaism. Now man, what about war? How does your mind explain war? Does not the Holy Torah offer the cities in conflict with God's people peace before going to war? May all who live thank, thanks be to the Holy Torah be now witnesses of the truth of the Holy Torah which is indeed ever immortal throughout creation, for no war is holy. But God allows them, Jews being attacked and threatened, to protect themselves and their faith in his purity with all their love, with all their endurance, and with the charity to protect their fellow men to in common labor for the welfare and survival of the Jewish family of the children of Israel and our duty to not honor only but God and for that love you honor your mother and father in this life and with the holy Torah written upon your hearts and <coughs> lightening up the soul the brighter the knowledge of the Holy Torah, the bright, the brighter the soul, and the more enlightened the spirit to make peace between the Jews, the children of Israel, and the nations, the descendants of Noah, and those who are survivors, descendants of Eve, and descendants of Adam, who are to keep the seven noadic laws, prohibition of idolatry, murder, theft, sexual immorality or blasphemy, not to eat the flesh taken from a live animal and to establish courts of law. Now I want to share what was revealed about myself. This is my truth in the Holy Torah in goodwill and union overstanding this now where it is that I am in the spirit of my quest for truth as I write the Holy Torah on my heart that I may remember the wisdom of creation a code of the Holy Torah being revealed to my spirit to grow in wisdom in the mind of the knowledge of Holy Torah in the soul which is a body of Holy Torah. It is from going into a mikvah from a child according to the custom of our heritage of the children of Israel was dependent on my mother and father and the utmost living God 
that I was a sign when purified and washed by pure waters of the spirit of holy Torah and of goodwill and union that I was given the holy Torah, the seed of eternal life and joy by the spirit leaving the animal soul for the heavenly soul which does not die but lives through the holy Torah. Blessed be God. Now something of the present. I have taken up my cause to write the book of life with an oath to tr truth of the holy Torah to not stray away from God who seals my oath by his existence and creation of the holy Torah in making creation itself by God's will that the holy Torah be fulfilled and creation complete. For now it is revealed that I am turning the soil to the bed of my eternal rest, the Holy Torah, as I simultaneously, this, as I simultaneously turn the seed of my soul, purification grows in the heart, in power of wisdom of the Holy Torah that I might be able to teach the Holy Torah through the Book of Life, helping the non-practicing Jew to become observant and for the non-Jew to guide them while they convert, especially the Christian and Muslims or Rastafarians, all who do also believe in God and will willing to keep the Holy Torah holy and keep all its laws including to wipe out the seed of Amalek and not to glorify the crucifixion of the suffering Mashiach Yeshua the son of Mary and to bring justice to Mary who suffered the loss of her Jewish son Yeshua and prayed for that generation that they pass not out of our minds, for they suffered with the destruction of the holy temple before their lives were out were lives were out and we witnessed the desecration of our holy temple and the end of the temple offerings. We cannot keep but I must build the faith of all Jews including Mashiach Yeshua and his mother Mary but not yet sown is that seed of my soul's eternal life for the soil of the Holy Torah which is turned by actions of goodwill and union and the seed my heart that grows from the Holy Torah wisdom should and must be equal upon the scales when sown to the everlasting God, the day all things return to him, God, in sing single breath of the Holy Torah, I must ask the ones about me, hearing the word of the Holy Torah, with their minds set on a will of doing what their minds want, their selves to will to do despite the Holy Torah and its blessings. Who must my judge be? For I tell you all solemnly, I only see God as my Saviour, to whom you will see on judgment day when that day comes. Who can await the coming of the judgment day, the coming of the Lord our God, who will withstand his might coming down through the clouds in all his splendor for judgment. Blessed be all who when I fly through the clouds to return to Israel, return with me and build the holy temple to fulfill the holy Torah and the ingathering. For on the day of judgment you will be welcomed to the kingdom of heaven. Blessed be the love and blessed be the Lord of God. Amen. Who has surpassed his glory in the past when his presence has been realized and overstood 
to be the true living God. When in the past did anyone put up arms against the living God as to destroy his ever omnipresence and omnipotence? I tell you, you cannot destroy God and to do so would be suicide as the living God and the Holy Torah make up everything in his omnipotence and omnipresence he made all creation with the holy torah anyone with ears anyone that has ears listen to your spirit and the holy torah which has and is deep rooted deep within your life whether you choose to accept it or not the holy torah is in everything can you feel the changes in knowledge as generations pass into the greater understanding of the fulfillment of the Holy Torah? Or in some that reject the Holy Torah and creation with their ignorance of understanding without the Holy Torah shall keep them under and far from the sublime that the Holy Torah gives? Their ignorance of the living God and his holy Torah is shame as they that don't believe in God and his holy Torah as they begin to end his memory as he sense, see, senses, he ceases to exist within the minds of the new as in new age and new world order and also new postmodernism thinking. Overstanding the living God and his holy Torah that they explore without seeking his blessing by keeping the holy Torah. They do not respect the ancient law of staying with and in order with the land and waters fresh from rivers or salty waters from the sea. No man is still looking at ways of building the Tower of Babel and his mind without God is past the clouds in the sky and far deep in space while he makes war against mankind over oil and money knowingly lost by the unknown without God and his holy Torah he lives all that he has become to take on the abyss in hope to conquer new life as he has done on his own planet when crossing the seas to take possession of lands and waters other nations are founded on if you did not believe in the holy Torah you would have been respectful if you did believe in the holy Torah you would have been respectful of these other nations and the planet earth and have respect of other peoples on other planets and God would bless your discovery of the other worlds in creation if you respected your own creation and kept out of sin but we do not understand the laws of the holy Torah of the living or do we know that God he is the giver of life of different universes and of solar systems and all that lives on them and what great destruction there is when people turn away from God every man questions the next and they do not know where they stand amongst one another their blood is bitter and their heart are so sour when their webs are broken from the tree of life and the apple falls their portion is taken away from the web of their ancestors tree of life men you are responsible for what you and we have created for the children for now they have gone astray and will grow old without the respect you and we know exist within the ancient law of the holy Torah and of the dream time which has laws too 
There are no books that can teach us the way of them laws except the Holy Torah because those laws have been teached orally and are inside the stories of the old people that you are, that you, the children of, are forgetting as days go on. You people really don't know how close the family is as you turn your backs on the learned from days of old and you enter the new world with blindfolds on without the Holy Torah and God. Even the women today train for war like it's just on the horizon. And still more I need to ask, where are we leading our flock to? I can see them marching straight for the slaughterhouse without the overstanding of the final end to our portion of creation in which is pleasantly insufficient in the knowledge of the Holy Torah compared to vast knowledge of the Holy Torah and creation God has given us. Yet it is the incompetent in this creation shall surely be the downfall and destruction of the creation if we continue to let companies have as much power as they do today for they are polluting creation at a speed the planet cannot repair in time. Anyone who knows what I'm saying should be able to feel these words like the coming of a storm and wise would be he that took shelter in these words and turned around all the polluting of the earth and started to turn deserts into gardens and also all the pla places that have been destroyed now restore those places into gardens so that the earth can be healed making all the waters clean and pure again that the future be one we would want for our children and children's children and children's children's children unto all generations and time immemorial. For this book proposes purpose, this book's purpose is unlike any other in a way that it is a lot to understand but yet when placed within and binded by actions of goodwill and union, the very purpose of the book of life becomes very simple and clear. Who can read it once and fully understand the purpose? Show me him or her and I will call him or her wise among mankind. Sit upright and read this book out loud to one another as a family should. Make sure you had turned off the TV and computer when reading the book of life so that there is no destruction, distraction of them or phones. Never play the fool acting like you know what is not yet part of your knowledge. Just take ear to your grandparents and, pe and parents and elders and let them explain what their parents' parents told them compared to what they have seen up until the present day and you will be truly amazed by what this book of life brings out. I tell you, all solemnly follow these instructions and you will find wisdom beyond your limits of understanding and overstanding what the book of life is trying to achieve to heal planet earth and to bring peace to the earth by learning from the mistakes of those that ruled the world before this time of creation. But do not let your own age discourage you and your learning. Do not place your knowledge on the scales of others but do share your opinion of life and the world with those older than you that you may get their op opinion 
that are with you that you all grow in the knowledge of all people and generations. Do not let shame reach you, only be humble in your spirit until you too have grey hairs and see the seeds of peace sown throughout the world by goodwill and union and then one might overstand then the purpose of this, the book of life. For it is written in the heavens of the stars above, who can decipher the meaning with his or her feet on the ground, on earth, where our ancestors and the utmost sacred land is? Eretz Israel. Open up your eyes and see how great you will feel by that great sense sown to you that you come out of exile to make Aliyah and to return to the land God did promise. What is the sense you feel? What is it that's before you, the Holy Torah, and arrests Israel? What is it that gives you feeling the heart coming home to the land of our forefathers? Is it yourself by your senses that creates existence or is it the creation for and about you that brings creation and existence? For I tell you, it is the law to sit and share the words of the Holy Torah to share together what food is there for all did you not hear of the Son of Man share out the fishes and loaves to the people hearing his word? Not one thing is made for one that is not made for all. That is why money is a sin, for it has never been in order with the law of the Holy Torah. Money is filthier than the corpse of the dead. Anyone whose hands have touched it has sinned. Money is a blindfold to people's minds and eyes that they would stray away from the living God. Lost, they cannot help saving and sinning each other in that day and in each day in the darkness of money. Anyone who sees the truth of the Holy Torah are responsible for their part to disorder and they must repent and to and to destroy the beast and all paths to sin through the great covenant of love since i had since i had received this overstanding about truth i be at the place of gathering mount zion to build the holy temple that I at last can repent my sins as an off offering as a sweet odour to the nostrils of God to wipe out evil off the face of the earth by living by the laws of the holy Torah in goodwill and union keeping the Shabbats holy and performing all the laws and offerings of the Holy Torah in the temple of God in its place. As sure as there is a living God, I will show the living God. He is not forgotten before man, woman, child and children alike. I will build the Holy Temple that every Jew can fulfill the Holy Law of the Holy Torah so that we may not just be righteous but after the offerings for our sins are made the righteous become holy and that we can live and stay holy all the days of our lives and time will the life of the Son of Man Mashiach Yeshua be in vain if mankind does not change their ways of teaching their children the truth about the Holy Torah and life 
how he studied the Holy Torah throughout his life upon the earth since being a child. He was a Jew, respectfully grown up by the Jewish faith, faithful to the faith of Judaism and the sovereignty of Israel, our lasting ever conquering nation we face, worshipping the God of Israel, this the true path which is narrow and complete through the Holy Torah. And he lived by that faith in the narrow path that is one salvation and not to be solely but altogether with the Holy Torah as one like the one true God is one and truth in the Holy Torah and in God is Judaism, the true religion of peace, kindness, in goodwill and union. Chosen people of Israel, of the Judaism path, does it seem fitting that I, Mashiach Emmanuel Ben David, have come with this book of life written in these times, a book of the Holy Torah in complete love of God and arrests Israel. A book that inspires the exiles to gather in the Holy Land, arrests Israel and to build the Holy Temple. Do you not see that has see what has been sown to the nations? The books of the prophets have and are still coming true and now they have reached the ends of the earth and I have come to fulfill the Holy Torah that every Jew and child of Israel to return to Israel. It is now known that the God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel is the true living God and I have begun the ingathering and building the Holy Temple by writing the book of life but overstand this not all is complete to the word and already I'm learning about how people saints sustained in the past from days of old and it is truly inspiring for when I gaze upon my thoughts stirred up by the wise old man my mentor and the owner of the house in which I work and learn, I am truly amazed. I tell you, it has only changed in Uluru in a couple of generations and it is painfully felt and noticed to me to be an evil spreading dark wings across the inhabitants of the earth with one swing of the sword to take the honour given to God and our elders, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel, which I'll remind you again has reached the four corners of the earth. Every person has heard of the word of the Holy Torah. The Holy Torah, glory be to God for it. The world is growing in an unkosher and evil way across the earth. Even after the Holy Torah has reached the earth and all its people, greed is spreading all over the earth and alcohol is destroying families and drugs are taking money that could be spent on food and clothes and also blankets and pillows and other needs, needly things. It is now time we Jews be a light to the nations and do teach the Holy Torah to all mankind. Sons of Israel, you have all been he that does struggle with the angel of God, such a name of dishonor and disgrace that would fight against God's angel. That is why his whip, hip was dislocated and given then the name Yisrael, a name of his own son, the begotten son of God. But because he asked for a blessing with so much faith, it Israel became a name of honour and grace which has been laid firmly upon your brows. 
showing the great mercy of God upon those who believe in him. Whether we struggle against him or we are deep in worship, he loves us. Now I tell you, my fellow sons of Israel, we must take note of these words or the blessing shall end as a curse with the sons of others succeeding us with their heel of their right foot upon us. We must fight for our blessing with faith in the Holy Torah that none succeed in us. We must fight for Judaism and Judah and must fight for Eretz Yisrael like Yisrael did fight the angel. We must fight for the holy temple. We must fight for the holy Torah and for all that is God's and all that is holy. Amen. I tell you my age is that of a young man but I have learned from the old by respect with the holy Torah in my heart and my ears have heard the way people think in this age. Blood has been shed on the earth, streams, lakes and seas worldwide. I am not saying it is too late that we cannot turn back from this evil. I am just saying this book of life has a purpose to fulfill the world with the holy Torah and that is true as sure as the God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel is the true living God. For the book of life shall not stop in its quest to build the holy temple and to establish the holy Torah forever and ever when the holy temple is built and all the laws fulfilled of the holy Torah then the book of life is fulfilled and all will give God glory. So you people that solve puzzles and are taking in this book of life know I come in the love of the Holy Torah in peace, goodwill and union with all mankind by complete intrigue in my God and in God's glory to solve truth in my heart and to give God all glory in the highest from the Holy Torah written on my heart as a light to the nations by the fulfillment of the book of life, the fulfillment of the Holy Torah, so that I might die old in peace, that that is all I ask God, who has love in his spirit for all of mankind that my life be a sign of giving God complete glory. I tell all of this and more, so when you of little faith question me, my heart shall be clear of any wrong doing. For the Holy Torah is my guiding star. It is the bright morning star. It is the light of the sun. This is the truth I tell you, for I do not intend to deceive any of you that go about in creation, just waiting for the Holy Torah to bless all them and to give them a new life in the study of the Holy Torah and the book of life. For I tell you all, my respect is for the Holy Torah the most pure of all truths, which is indeed my quest for truth, is what I am looking for from the Holy Torah in all its light now being put in the book of life. This I have to say to the twelve tribes of Israel. You are witnesses to the great rebuking of the Holy Torah and the one true God by mankind stopping us from building the holy temple. And when the priests have failed the God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel because of the lack of servants to the building of the holy temple and to God's home and the truth of the holy Torah enlightening the earth, your fate will be that 
of the shepherd who ministered to the flocks at the banks of the fresh waters, but they never drank from them waters because there was no faith in building the holy temple or in them waters is a metaphor for the temple. Or did they have faith in the word of life, the holy Torah and the book of life? So build the holy temple and listen at last and take heed to these words from within and have the fear of God when you face those that stop you from building the holy temple. For these people that are stopping us from building the holy temple are evil and this evil is like Sodom and Gomorrah and of Amalek's spirit that did forbid faith in God and did make unlawful sinful practices having public sex orgies. Yes, it is the greatest sin to stop the building of the holy temple. It is worse than that of the people of those two cities, Sodom and Gomorrah, for it is not a sin against one's own self, but a sin against God and our whole people. But with faith in building the holy temple, this stumbling block can pass on the wind that blown it in. And the keys of the holy temple mount can be returned to the children of Israel, to the Mashiach ben David, I, King of Israel, demand the keys now, that we build the temple now, and that no one stop me from my work for God. and fulfill the Holy Torah, God who must be worshipped by the humble children of Israel, of Isaac and Abraham, so that all the laws of the Holy Torah be fulfilled with any wrongdoings of our forefathers to be repented by ourselves. For God has passed them sins on to us to humble us for our own good. Know then what you must do. Anyone with a mind to overstand, we need to build the holy temple and fulfill the holy Torah. Everything you have needed to live, the holy Torah was provided by the one true God. And the people, mankind in whole, have been sifting away what you think you need by intrigue in the world and not God and his glory. They live in the world and not in God's glory. But I am warning everyone that your needs for survival will disappear before everyone's eyes. By walking the path of unity in worldly things and disorder without the Holy Torah, for all it is worth, it does worsen. And there is wars and there are crimes against humanity. And because of the technology, the world is now not a feat. And man goes from continent to continent with ease. And nation rise against nation with ease. As the two or more nations raise the white flag, so they head in the war can say who it is that brings the animosity and as they have a false peace with continued killings, they always end up back at war. The outcome ahead of us looks to be the same with war. Wars have increased, thinking that there is no more end to them wars since I began writing the Book of Life and looks to be the same without the holy Torah to guide the one world, one earth to peace. End of war is up to us to make peace from the whole world, embrace the book of life and the holy Torah and teaching all the world of Judaism, goodwill and union 
and peace. For now, yes, there is death by hunger and thirst of water. We are facing, if we do not believe this, that I am saying, then check the pureness of the water and see how scarce the beasts are upon the earth and crops are ever facing failure due to drought or too much or too much water and flooding and cyclones or crops are dying and then if it is truth that I speak place your intrigue in the one true God as I have done and you will come to see how fruitful he God has been to men woman and children who believe in him he guides you and he gives you strength to study the holy Torah to pray three times a day and to go to go out to build the holy Torah in your life so that everything is prepared for the building of the holy temple man or woman when you have miscounted your eyes remind you of your number but I am telling you your number is just about up that don't keep the holy Torah can you understand that? For the spirit of the Holy Torah is growing and we are preparing to build the Holy Temple that we can fulfill the Holy Laws of God, Holy Torah. As for myself, I ask to be buried at the tomb of my forefather, King David. And you who read and hear the Book of Life at my witnesses, to my will after death and I wish that no one enter or be buried in my house of sleep until my wife and sons and his sons and so on are to be buried as for the people on the land my fellow Jews I ask that they come to pray for the glory of God I do wish for a Cohen to to bury me and my departing will is that you take care of my sleep place and only the successor Cohen and his oldest rabbi circumcised firstborn son are to enter my sacred place of rest except the doctors that shall keep my body frozen until they can give my life again to look after myself and my wife and my sons and daughters and their families and so on. Our bodies are to be preserved, skin, muscles, organs and bones and hair. Also before we are to be placed into our tomb and there shall be a hollow log carved and painted to our life story and then placed next to each other's body chamber in our tomb as a great witness of a day the dead will rise from sleep. Lord God, let my children be plentiful and their children too and so too to all the generations of humanity. May my children and offspring rise and be throughout the earth. God, may you bless each one so I won't roll in my sleep of death. God, I know you are the tree which is deep-rooted and as generations like leaves in autumn turn yellow, then brown without life fall from the tree. So do the generations fall from the tree of God. But you, my Lord God, surpass all things to stand tall with new seeds of life. And God, you made life so it would end for full of the Holy Torah. Lord God, may I share the joy with you and sow the seeds of life and the Holy Torah. May I be stored in the tomb in the name of God and everlasting name God the only name surpassed in his glory in which there is everlasting life. Yahweh. And I am coming now. It is written in the stars 
to rise. Mashiach Yeshua, that too is written in the stars. For I too fulfill when the book of life is fulfilled. Blessed be all who fulfill the book of life. Listen to God's word in them are life and the peace they seek, making thy life a testimony to truth. The Holy Torah, let it be written upon thy heart and enter his kingdom of heaven, taking up that which towers with joy throughout the Holy Torah. Know then when thy come and entreat the Holy Torah with brothers and sisterhood in love of the Holy Torah and all its laws and the book of life and all its message. Man, you must Im implement the system of the book of life for the fulfillment of the Holy Torah. Man, it is time we build the holy temple of the God of the children of Israel. Man have made the seven candle holder of God and man its items and many items for the service of the Holy Torah in the Holy Temple that are needed for the Holy Temple service and we need to prepare the Kohen for the temple offerings. We need to be organized and we need to be involved all the members of the Knesset in Israel that governments need to celebrate what it means to be a Jewish nation and state and that Eretz Israel is even bigger than what our leaders lead today but our faith leads Eretz Israel and one day we shall cover it all Rich Jews should give what they can for the cause of building the Holy Temple and give whatever kind of influence we can so that the Holy Temple can be built in our generation, in our lifetime. There must be the support of the two chief rabbis of Israel and all the Jews of the world need to give support to the establishment of the Holy Torah and all its laws and the building of the Holy Temple for this is man's responsibility. The man, Jew, who is in goodwill and union working for the building of the Holy Temple, he is a saint of the book of life when he is blessed with the waters of sprinkling to enter the holy temple and the offerings, sin offerings and peace offerings have been made and the holy Torah is fulfilled. Blessed be God, our heavenly blessed God who has chosen man to be a light to the nations with the fulfillment of the book of life for the book of life is a community of faithful believers in heart and in spirit meeting at the synagogues and in the public places to pray for and work to build the holy temple amen and of chapter four of the book of life the quest for truth in man I hope you enjoyed that chapter and I hope that this chapter sinks in and that we build the Holy Temple and if you treat this chapter and this book that I've been reading to you as a joke and make jokes about it instead of taking action and following its message which comes straight from the Holy Torah itself too but here I give you extra guidance extra explanation of the Holy Torah and extra thriving to build and fight for our Holy Torah in pride of our Holy Torah in pride of our God as Jews we might be a minority on the earth but we 
are strong and united. Thank you. Have a good night. God bless. Amen.